Hey guys, Michael Danilak here from MichaelDanilak.com and in this short video, I'm going to teach you the one secret, the one trick that will make or break success in anything you do, no matter what area you're trying to do it. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Michael Danilak here. And like I said, in this short video, we're gonna talk about that one trick, that one secret that's gonna make or break your success in any niche. And really, you know, I've met a lot of successful people, I've met a lot of non-successful people, and everything, there's always one consistency across everything. And, and the one big difference that's really, is the difference between, you know, the people who make it and the people who don't is their level of belief. How much are you willing to believe in your goal? Because here's the thing, when you set a goal, you aren't gonna know how that goal is gonna get it to you. You aren't gonna know how, why, when, where, nothing. You just know you want that goal. A goal is, when you originally set it, there is no stipulations on how you're gonna attain it. You just know you want it. And if you ask anyone who is really successful, if they've done anything big, if they knew how they were gonna do it, they didn't. If you ask Mark Zuckerberg, when he started Facebook, he's like, yeah, man, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a meeting in the dorm room. I'm gonna get shut down. Then it's gonna start going viral because of like college dating. And then it's just gonna become the known thing. You think he knew how that was gonna happen? No, he just knew he had something. He was gonna make it happen no matter what it took, guys. Now, here's the one thing. The only people, if there's something you want to do, is there's something you want to believe in, the only people who are going to tell you not to do it are those that who have already given up on their dreams. Those who've already just don't even want to achieve anything for themselves or haven't achieved anything for, or they're comfy. There's a mindset with it. And this level of belief I'm talking about, it stirs two different types of mindset. Now, poor, there's a poor mindset and a rich mindset. And people can have money and have a poor mindset. And people can have no money and have a rich mindset. But here's the thing. A poor mindset will always lead to no money. It will always lead to unhappiness. It will always lead to unfulfillment. A rich mindset, you will always be happy. You will always be fulfilled and money will always come. And it's one of the big things. I'll talk about this in the next video. Poor mindset uh, versus rich mindset. I don't know exactly what I'll call it. But it'll be in the next video here, guys. But, you know... Those people that have those poor mindsets, they're the ones that are gonna tell you not to believe. They're the ones that are gonna tell you not to achieve. And they're the ones that are gonna tell you you can't do it. And the fact of the matter is, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you, you're right. And that's from Henry Ford, the, the maker of Ford. He said that, and it's, it really comes down to whatever you believe you're gonna do, you're gonna do. If you believe you'll do it no matter what, it doesn't matter what obstacle comes into your way, you're gonna achieve it. And most people, when they set a goal, it's kind of like, oh, it'd be cool if that happened. Like, Oh, I want a family, or I'd like to have a freedom business, or I'd like to have more time to go see and, uh, my friends. Like everyone just says they want it, but when it, when you present them a way that they can actually attain it, nah, it can't be possible. Nah, they don't believe it. And it's so funny because those same people that are going to live those poor mindsets are going to be that same way forever until they decide to change the way they think. So I'll cover that in the next video. But the reason, guys, that I'm inspired to do this is I still have so many people that knock me say my stuff's not possible, say online marketing is fake because they've got poor mindset and it sucks because them having a poor mindset isn't even their fault. The fact of the matter is society as a whole has a poor mindset and we're not being set with proper examples. Uh, we're not being taught by our parents. We're not being taught by schools to actually have a rich and imaginative mindset. So for you to fit into the norm, you actually have to have a poor mindset. And there's such few people that have that rich mindset, that's why we're shunned. That's why we're knocked against. And the funny thing is, is people like, I woke up this morning to a $1,000 US commission. Like I woke up in my email, I, like I, I woke up, I'm like, huh, what, what time is it? Oh, a couple new emails, scroll down my emails. $997 US commission. I did not have that when I went to bed seven hours prior, guys. I made that money in my sleep. I woke up to a thousand dollar day. And the only reason that's possible is I knew I would do it. I put in the power, I put in the belief, and I put in the time, and I put in the work. And no one, no matter what they said, could not tell me it's possible. And there's so many people living comfortable lifestyles. like. The difference between a rich mindset and a poor mindset, I want to break into this a little bit, is, you know, a poor mindset, they want nicer cars, they want nicer houses, they want things that show status and stuff. Rich people don't care. Mark Zuckerberg doesn't wear Gucci shit. Like, Bill Gates doesn't wear Gucci shit. They don't care about that. They don't show off. Warren Buffett still lives in the same $200,000 or $300,000 home. He bought, like, 50, 40 years. I don't remember the exact time, but he still lives there. 
he's the second richest man in the world. The thing about rich mindset people is they don't need a lot to get by. And it's funny because all those people that are being comfy when the comfortability looks like success is <laughs> it really comes down to they gave up on their dreams. They found a spot that kind of semi makes them happy. And with that spot, they, they tell other people, well, no, you should just have this because I have it. But they don't want you to attain more because they couldn't. And when you attain more, you become a reflection into them. You become a mirror of what they couldn't accomplish. And it breaks them down, guys. So really, guys, at the end of the day here, it only matters about what you say, your belief. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. It's doable. And if you don't achieve something, if you don't have that belief, you're going to say what ifs. You're going to say whys. You're going to say hows. And what great mentor of mine, Kevin Trudeau, one thing he always said is if you ever say the hows, you ever say the whys, and you ever say the what ifs, you've already lost. You will lose that battle. You will never win a fight that you're questioning. So if there's ever anything you truly want to do, you can't do that stuff. You can't say what ifs, you can't say hows, and you can't say whys. So I hope you guys got value out of this. Also guys, um, you can get access to my free vault. I got a, it's a new vault now, my old vault. I had people messaging me saying, man, your old vault, I can't believe you're doing a new one. I got more information from your old vault than I did from courses I paid money for, which is, I'm ecstatic to hear that, and they're happy about my course I got coming out too. But you can get access to the vault. It's create.michael-danilock.com. And uh, you know, I hope, you, hope to see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to my channel if you want more mindset videos like this. I got a ton of mindset stuff coming out i got a ton of online marketing stuff coming out and i've got a call coming in i gotta take so i will talk to you guys later